So today I'm going to be opening my GCSE results. So at the moment I am not in my usual bedroom. I'm actually in my caravan because I'm away on holiday. But what I'm doing is me and my mum are travelling back home from St Ives to go and collect my results tomorrow and then we're coming back. Hey guys! <laughs> So yeah, like I said, we're leaving uh, this evening to go back home and then collecting my results tomorrow, opening them on FaceTime to my brother and my dad and then we're heading back down to the Knives. Yeah, so I thought I'd just bring you guys along to open them up with me and for the vlog, just because. Because what? Just because. If you don't want to see like the whole leading up to me getting my results blah, blah, blah. just skip to whatever time is on the screen right now and then that is the time in the video where i'm gonna go and actually open the envelope with my results in so yeah i shall see you when we're in the car on the way home bye stopped at a service station and we're about an hour-ish away from home so we haven't got too long left. I'll see you guys at home. So we just got back home feeling like super nervous or like I'm not feeling as nervous as I thought I was gonna feel. I'm going to collect them at half eight tomorrow morning um, and then I'm gonna come home and FaceTime my brother and my dad and then I'm meeting a, a few of my friends for a little drink before we drive back to St Ives and then we have a meal booked at a restaurant which I'm really excited about so yeah I shall see you guys tomorrow morning. Morning everyone, so I'm just ready to leave to go and pick them up and I I could really get to sleep last night but I don't know whether that was because I just had a bit too much caffeine um, on the way home or, or I was like actually scared. I don't actually really know how I feel because like I feel like I'm excited to obviously get them because I feel like it's been ages since we obviously like did our exams anyway so to be honest, I can't really remember what any of them actually even were like. Like, obviously I'm nervous to get them, but I feel like I'm kind of like in the middle. So, yeah, I shall see you when I have the envelope. I have the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I'm just going. Don't look at me when I'm opening them, I'll be scared. Hi! Okay. Hi. <laughs> I didn't. Oh wait. <laughs> like I have it. Right. I don't want. I don't want to do it. Can you do it? No, because I'll cry. Go on. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Do you want me to do it? No, go on. Go for it. Ready. Steady. Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go on, read them out, read them out to us, read them out to us. <laughs> no, I can cry. Read them out, read them out. <laughs> oh my god! She got a six in maths. She got a nine in geography. A nine. A nine in art. A nine in textiles. An eight in biology. A seven in chemistry. A seven in physics. A nine in English language. <laughs> An eight in English literature and a seven in economics! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Just totally lost for words, kid. She's got an A in all my sciences. Yeah. I mean, I I can't <laughs> even believe it. It's just absolutely awesome, Amber. I got 64 out of 100 in my chemistry paper too. I got 74 out of 100 in physics. That's, we'll see you later. All right. Well done, guys. Hey, everyone. So we just drove back. Uh, we're now in the caravan again uh, down in St. Ives. I think the last video you saw was me opening up my results. And I don't think I really talked much. Um, but I have them here. And I'm just going to set my tripod up and 
read them out. It's here and what I'm gonna do is basically put my um, predictions for what I thought I was gonna get alongside the grade that I actually did get um, because some of them I was really shocked about. Um, I'll read out the grades that I got in my mock exams as well so that you can like kind of compare them I guess. So basically the first one on my sheet is math. Maths was the lowest I got. Um, I got a six which is a around like a B if you're converting it back to like the old kind of grades. Um, I was over the moon with a six in maths because I was kind of like between I thought I'd pre I predicted like between like a six and a seven um so I'm really happy that I ended up getting a six and I basically got a five in my year 10 mocks and then we did two sets of mocks in year 11 and I got a four in one and a five in the other the next one is geography I got a nine in geography which I am absolutely like I couldn't even talk when I saw I got an iron geography because I wanted to take it for A level um, and in my mocks I kept getting eights and I was like one or two marks off a nine um, so I'm really pleased with geography I got an eight in my year 10 mock and then an eight in my year 11 mock and another eight in my other year 11 mock so to come up with a nine I'm really happy with um and on my paper two i got like 81 out of 88 so i'm really happy with that as well like marks wise art and textiles i'll kind of do them together because they're kind of similar i got a nine in art and then a nine in textiles um and in all of my mocks i'd got nines as well um i got 86 out of 96 for my fine art which i'm really pleased with and then 83 out of 96 for textiles um so yeah and then biology is next and i got an eight in biology which i didn't really expect um i think i was predicted an eight like back in year seven um but i thought i was kind of i thought i was gonna get like a seven um but i was like pretty happy with getting an eight in biology because i got a uh seven in my year 10 mock and then a seven in both of my year 11 mocks so i thought i was pretty like level and so i thought i was gonna get a seven in the real thing but i've got an eight which i'm like over the moon with <laughs> chemistry has genuinely like really shocked me i thought i was gonna get like a five maybe a six out push in chemistry um but i ended up getting a seven which i was like i was like shocked um because i actually got a three in my year 10 mock um and then i got a five in my first year 11 mock and then a six in the other one so i've gone from a three to a seven which i'm really like super duper happy with um and then physics was the same i was pretty certain that i was gonna get around i th i thought i was gonna get around a six um maybe like a five um i ended up getting a seven in physics as well which i was really happy with um i did a i got a five in my year 10 mock a five in my year 11 mock and then a seven in my other year 11 mock um i thought the seven that i got in my one year 11 mock was kind of like a one-off thing i didn't actually think i'd end up getting that in the real thing so i'm really happy with that english language just completely like i thought i was gonna get like a seven um i ended up getting a nine which i was really shocked about um and i got a distinction in my like spoken language thing um because basically with english language i got a five in my year 10 mock and then a seven in both my year 11 mocks so to come up with a nine i was like really happy with um english literature i ended up getting an eight uh which i was also really happy with because i went from i got a five in my year 10 mock a six in my first year 11 mock and then a seven in my other one economics as well is economics is my last one um i ended up getting a seven which again i was really shocked about um because i basically went from a four in my first year 10 mock six in my first year 11 mock and then a five in my other one overall i'm pretty happy with the results that i've got i probably couldn't have asked for like any better in any of them so we're just about to go out for <laughs> thanks i'm coming now and just in case any of you are wondering i'm thinking of doing um art psychology english literature and geography for a level so those are the four that i'm kind of hoping to carry on with if anyone watching this if you opened your results or um your 
next year's GCSEs watching this video. Um, I hope they went well and I hope you're really happy with them. Um, and if you're I don't know like about to take your exam then I wish you good luck so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little GCSE results video and I shall see you in my next one here we are we're, we're at Paige's results today how are we feeling? are we actually we're good? Oh, yeah. are we supposed yeah. to reopen our results? oh wow yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm already yeah. open yeah. there yeah. 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 okay okay yeah. oh, 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 oh. wait get me for thumbnail whoa <laughs> thumbnail 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 um, yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe to Amber. He's Follow my socials. Nine. I did. Follow my socials. Um, Faizan Hidden 987 on Snapchat. Faizan underscore underscore on Instagram. Okay, bye.